Hi guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Long time no see. It's been a long while since I've done any sort of like beauty content on this channel and I really wanted to do a makeup tutorial today but I wanted to kind of focus a little bit on dupes. I definitely think it's been close to a year. I think the Aldi dupes video was the last one I did. I absolutely love when I find something that is a dupe of a high-end product and it's a fraction of the price. Today, after going through my entire makeup collection and ciphering through all of my Charlotte Tilbury products, I wanna do a Charlotte Tilbury dupes video. I think I have a good selection of dupes here. I haven't a dupe for everything. Some products, like their bronzers, were really hard to dupe. I also couldn't find anything but the Airbrush for all this finish micro powder. I know a lot of people compare this to the number seven. After trying the number seven, it is similar, but definitely doesn't hold my oils back and definitely doesn't give me that flawless filter look to my skin that the powder from Charlotte Tilbury does. So I didn't want to include it because I mean, that's what you're trying to achieve with that powder. If you guys are interested in seeing a good old fashioned dupes video, then just keep on watching. I'm gonna moisturize my skin first with the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream Light. It's not technically a Charlotte Tilbury product, but I have not gone a day since I purchased this without using it. And this is the Inky List, the Polyglutamate Acid. And I use this as a primer. It helps lock in moisture. I think this just makes my skin look amazing. So I'm using this as a primer. Sorry, and there's like loads of things going on my skin before I even apply makeup. Since having Noah, I feel like I'm more into skincare than I am into makeup. Still love my makeup, don't get me wrong, but I just feel like I pay a lot more attention to what I'm putting on my skin and prepping my skin and skincare and about like ingredients and what works with my skin and what doesn't. We're gonna get straight into brows because I always do my brows first. I actually love all all the Charlotte Tilbury brow products, just an FYI. They are my holy grail, they're my favorite, they're the ones that I use the most regularly. Brow Cheat, it's my favorite brow pencil that they have. I also love the Brow Lift, but I can't find a dupe for that. But for the Brow Cheat, I did find a dupe in the XX Revolution, and this is the Fine Brow. It's not the actual applicator, it's more so how the product performs and the longevity of it. So they both have a spoolie on either end. The Shell Tilbury applicator is angled, whereas the XX Revolution is not, but it's all about the product. Shell Tilbury a little bit goes a long way. I have this actual brow product a year, whereas I buy maybe two of the XX Revolutions a year. Key I find to doing my eyebrows is do short strokes, fill in the brow and then brush the product through. I think that's the best way to get my brows to perform. I haven't got my brows waxed in nearly four months, so they're not looking their best. Honestly, I just let them grow wild and natural. Brows are on. I don't know how they're looking. They're a bit bushy. We're just gonna wing it. I'm gonna take the Hollywood Flawless Filter. Mine is much loved. Even the name is rubbed off, which is very sad. I absolutely adore this product. I'm in the shade number 4.5 medium. It is one of my holy grail products. It is definitely worth the 40 euro price tag because I do feel like it lasts really long on the skin. It looks amazing. I wear this on its own. I wear this as a highlighter. I absolutely adore this product and I really feel if you are gonna purchase anything from Charlotte Tilbury, maybe your newbie, this is probably my highest recommended product. I have never heard anybody say they don't like this, but I'm sure there's people out there who don't love it but it is amazing. I have tried to find a dupe for it for quite a while. The closest thing I can get to it is the XX Revolution. I just thought that I would include this because it is a really lovely product anyway. It gives you that same kind of like tint to the skin. I have the shade Blaze and it comes in other shades, but this is the closest that I can find to match my skin. I really dislike the applicator though. So I am gonna apply this to this side of my face. I just kind of take it on my finger. Then I'm gonna apply the Charlotte Tilbury on this side so you can kind of see that they have that same glow to it. It is the closest dupe that I could find and it's a pretty decent dupe if I do say so. The only difference I notice with the XX Revolution is it doesn't last as long. I have purchased two of them and I've only had one Charlotte Tilbury. So I haven't mastered at this stage how I apply the Charlotte Tilbury. I still use my fingers I don't know if that's like the best way to do it, but it's the way that I like this product on my skin. Like you can kind of see that tint, that glow to the skin. It's fabulous. And um, this again does the same thing. Obviously the shades are a little bit off. I couldn't find anything that matches the Charlotte Tilbury to a T. So you could see like that you could literally apply this and go about your day. If you want to apply a little bit of concealer, you are good to go. It's so 
such a gorgeous product. The XX Revolution is so similar. I've just been jabbering on to myself for the last five minutes and didn't press record. I'm so annoyed. Can you tell I haven't done this in a while? Anyway, I was talking about the foundation and I've applied this to this side of my face, which is the Beautiful Skin Foundation. I was talking about how much I love this and I just really, really enjoy the effect of it on my skin. It feels like it really evens out my skin. You need a tiny amount and it gives you an unreal amount of coverage. It looks so gorgeous and illuminating on the skin. However, it's 40 euro. And I always thought that that was just a little bit pricey for what it does because it's nothing new. And the only reason I say that is because I've been using the Dream Urban Cover Foundation. I've been using this for the last two and a half years. And the second I applied this, even in my first impressions, I was like, oh my God, it's so similar to this. So I have this on this side of my face and I have the Charlotte Tilbury on this side and they apply so well. The only difference with this is you need a tiny bit more product. You need like one pump, one and a half pumps maybe to do the entire face, whereas you might need just a little bit more, not much, a little bit more. Like I have this particular foundation over a year and I use it a lot. It's like my everyday go-to kind of glowy luminous foundation. <laughs> Can I say any more like words that kind of allude to like glowy lightweight? Beautiful Skin Foundation was marketed to enhance your natural skin and I feel like this does that exact same job. I'm really sorry that I didn't actually show you me applying this to my face. Just I actually forgot to press play but I just applied it with my absolute favorite brush if you're looking for a new brush. This is amazing. It's the Heavenly Fine It Cosmetic Brush. It has like little pink hearts in it. So cute. But I just applied it with that. I just feel like it gives a really great, like even, even complexion. This is in number seven and this shade is in number 220 Natural Beige. And I feel like they're very comparable on the skin. Just gonna do a bit of concealing. My absolute favorite concealer from Charlotte Tilbury is the Magic Away Liquid Concealer. Love this. I just really feel like this brightens up highlights and just does so many different things. My one downfall about this, I hate this, is the packaging. I always have to leave a little gap between the lid and the base of the product because I can't get the lid off. It's like impossible. It's like Fort Knox to try and get into. So it looks like that. You just twist it off and I just apply it underneath my eye. I'm So the product that I found is super similar to this is the Eye Bright from Revolution. I love this. I actually prefer the applicator on this because it's like the round spongy one. So again, I'll just do the same thing. The shade that I am in this one is medium and in the Shell Tilbury is for fair. And I prefer the packaging of this one because the Revolution one is not that difficult to get into, whereas the Shell Tilbury one is impossible. They look so similar on my skin. They blend out so similar on my skin. And when I wear one over the other, I don't notice any huge difference. Like I feel like they're such a close dupe to one another. They have to be like the same product. They're so close. I don't understand how that can be done. My favorite eyeshadow palette from Charlotte Tilbury, I feel like it's worth the money, even though it is super expensive, is the Super Nudes eye palette. It has six shades in it. There's nothing kind of remarkable about it, but it's everything that you would ever need. And I just feel like this is one of the best eyeshadows quality wise and the way that they blend, the way they last. And I, like I said, I can't dupe them. I really, really cannot. I'm sure there are something out there that is similar. And I'm sure you guys will tell me, oh, these eyeshadows are better or the same or whatever. But right now I can't find anything I like as much. So I just take this palette and I'm just taking the first shade here. I'm just gonna apply that through my crease. I'm not doing anything very special with this eye look. It's literally my go-to everyday eye look. Something quick and easy. So all I do is apply that brown shade through my crease, bringing it the whole way in and just kind of feathering it out on the outer corner. I'm gonna take this shade here, just right beside the initial shade, and I just kind of focus that on the outer corner of my eye. I then take this like cream shade and I will just apply that to the lid and kind of do like a very like soft um, cut crease. We'll just kind of try and carve out the brown that's on top. Finally, I will just take the darkest brown in the palette and I will just create like a little wing with that. 
and that's that for the eyeshadow. So I want to move on to brown liner. I love the classic eye powder pencil and this is just in classic brown. Super long lasting, absolutely incredible eyeliner. Really recommend it. And then I just kind of like deepen up the outer wing. Place that on the waterline also. So it creates a little bit more depth on the eye. And the dupe that I found for this is actually a Euro. And it's from Natural Collection. It's the Eye Coal. And it's in the shade brown. It lasts in a long time on my waterline. It's the exact same colour. It's really creamy. It's super easy to use. It has the same softness as the Shell Tilbury but still being really easy to blend and won't cut the eye off you because I do find that with some more affordable eye pencils that they tend to be a bit dry on the eye. So I just take that same brush that I used to apply the shadow first and just use that to blend the pencil out. And then I just place the middle brown all underneath my eye here. And then just focus the darker brown on the outer corner of my lower lash to tie everything together. Just to finish off the eyes, I'm gonna do some mascara. The Legendary Lash Volume 2 is one of my favorite mascaras from Shell Tilbury. This is like my second or third bottle, I can't remember. This just gives you really dull eyes, really feathered eyelashes. Like I don't have great eyelashes and this just really lifts them and coats them. And I love the wand, I love the formula, I love everything about this. And the dupe that I found for this is the Lash Paradise Mascara from L'Oreal. I've used this mascara on and off for a few years and I never realized that it was so similar. I know a lot of people compare this to the Too Faced Better Than Sex, but I don't like that mascara and I do like this one. And I feel like this is super similar with the wand and just the way it applies. The only thing I will say about this is it's a little bit more of a wet formula and I do feel like it is more comparable the older the formula gets, if that makes sense. So the more dried out the formula becomes, the more like the Shell Tilbury mascara it is. I'm just gonna cream contour up my face before I go into my last few dupes. This is just from Revolution and it's just a stick. And I'm just gonna apply it here and then do a few dots around here. My last face dupe is for blush and this is the Pillow Talk blush and the one that I found that is so similar to it is it is Wine O'Clock Box Blush from Catrice. I have a different cheek product on right now, you can probably notice that but I am just going to apply these just for the purpose of this video so that you can see how similar they are on the cheeks. So I'm just taking a Pillow Talk and just dabbing my brush into it and applying that to my apples of my cheeks. And then I'm gonna go in with the Catrice one and again do the same. The one thing I will find with Catrice over the Shell Tilbury is it's a little bit more powdery, but it is ever so pigmented. So you only need a tiny bit. So finally we're on to lips and I'm very excited about this. I talked about this on TikTok, but for those of you who don't have TikTok or don't watch me on TikTok, this is probably like my favorite find for a Shell Tilbury product because it is super similar and it's a cult favorite from the brand. So the Lip Cheat, in Pillow Talk, I found a dupe in it for the NYX Peekaboo Natural. They are so similar and the Peekaboo Natural one I think is like five euro maybe. Whereas the Pillow Talk is 23 I think. Sorry, I can't talk and apply this at the same time. And then I'm just gonna apply the Peekaboo Pink on this side. Again, with dupes, it's not all about the colour, it's about the longevity and I really feel like the longevity of the NYX is comparable to the Shell Tilbury. We're on to lipstick and this is the Pillow Talk lipstick, one of my all-time favourites. I absolutely love this, it's so pretty and I just think it's such a natural, gorgeous pink. And the dupe that I found for it is from the Kate Moss Rimmel Collection and it is in number 03. Even the finish is the same. Okay guys, so that is the completed makeup look. Half Charlotte Tilbury, half 
drugstore i really love the fact that i could find so many dupes from shell tilbury you guys know that shell tilbury is like my all-time favorite makeup brand i just absolutely love it i love the way that there's not too many releases everything they have in the line is perfect and i think it's really on brand i love everything that i've ever used from shell tilbury i don't think i've ever like disliked maybe like one product ever but i feel like it's such a great brand and i know it's expensive but to be honest, the price tag really reflects the products. So I hope you guys enjoyed that I could find some dupes because I do know it is an expensive brand and I do realize that not everybody wants to spend that much money on makeup, that it is nice to kind of get the Charlotte Tilbury look for more of an affordable price. I will work on trying to find some of the eyeshadows and the bronzers and the powder that I can't get just yet but I will try and find dupes in the future and maybe do another one of these videos if you guys are interested obviously using different products so do let me know and I hope you guys have a fantastic day wherever in the world you are I will talk to you all very very soon I love you guys Mwah.